church or not be able to worship or not continue our series and not gather in fellowship and worship together. So Stephen and Ed and I are here and, um, and we're following all the proper health protocols and um, going to bring merch to you in your home or wherever you're listening from. So thank you for joining us. Just a few quick important announcements. Um, obviously, uh, due to the virus and due to the social distancing that's being um, advocated right now, St. Mark's is com complying with all of the uh, guidance from our government leaders and the medical community. And so we will not be gathering at St. Mark's together um, for the next co couple of weeks for sure. And then we will reassess, you know, as, as time goes on. So right now we're going to do social distancing and we're going to connect using technology and all sorts of things. And of course, with our prayers and with our spirits to one another. Um, so those are the most important announcements is stay home, stay home. Um, really that's, that's a blessing, right? Stay home. Um, also we have birthdays and I know it's been kind of crazy because of spring break and then uh, not meeting this week and all that, but uh, we do have March birthdays we want to celebrate. And today, right today, March 22nd, is Stephen Craig's birthday. So come on, Stephen. Keep six feet. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so I like count of three. One, two, three. We're going to yell happy birthday because that's what we would do if we were all here. So ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday. He said thank you. Okay, so um, what's your favorite candy? Uh, we don't have to do this yet, but I'll take some gummy worms. Oh, 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 oh. I will get it for you. Okay. okay, so if you have a March birthday and you haven't gotten your birthday candy yet, don't worry. We've got the candy box waiting for you whenever we are able to gather together once again um, in person. Hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. Um, to kick off our time of worship together, though, we are actually going to begin with our driven mission statement because we are driven. It is what guides us and what unites us and what binds us together. And it's an awesome uh, tradition that we say together. So let's re be reminded of our mission as we begin uh, to worship this evening. We are driven, passion, to know Christ, Christ and make him known, pursuit of righteousness and the lost and purpose from him from him in him for him we got it um <laughs> let's open with a word of prayer would you join me please father god we thank you so much that even in this time of uncertainty anxiety possibly some fear lord that you are faithful that you are immovable, you are unchanging, you are all-powerful, you are personal, and you are present. Lord, Lord, you are still with us and for us and among us. So Spirit, fill us wherever we are, in our homes, in our cars, in our bedroom, in our pajamas, or um, whatever, wherever, and whatever. Meet us. Speak to us. Calm us. Remind us that you, God, are able. You are able. And we ask you to intervene. We pray for your mercy. We pray for wisdom for our government leaders, for our healthcare community, for teachers and for parents and so for everybody, Lord, who's just adjusting to all of this craziness, Lord. We pray, Lord, for a cure. We pray for healing. We pray, Lord, that you would draw us near to you. Remind us, you, are able. In your name, amen. Join us as we sing.
I remember where I was when I heard that the NBA was suspending their season. When March Madness was canceled in the tournament, and they just told everybody to leave the stadium. I remember where I was. Do, do you? And then before we knew it, it was this closing and that closing and this closing. And then now college baseball closed. High school baseball closed. Schools closed for who knows we don't know how long. So the road closed sign is appropriate to our life right now. And here's the thing about the road closed sign. One, it is imperative that if the road closed sign is up, it's for our safety not to travel that road. See, the road closed sign means one, one of possibly two things are happening on the other side of that road. One, construction is taking place. Either um, there are big dump trucks or the gravel is all torn up or they're repaving or they're rerouting or they're fixing potholes, but for whatever reason, they can't just alternate the route just a little bit. Um, you know, when you drive on the shoulder or they just go down in one lane. No, 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 the road is closed. We need major repairs right now. Can't do anything about it. We have to do a detour. The second reason is because there's an emergency ahead. There's a tragedy or an accident or some kind of um, extreme circumstance, like a rock slide or, or something that has happened up ahead on that road and the road is closed and there's no access. And then the second sign that often accompanies the road closed sign is the detour sign. And you guys, hear me out, because the detour sign is actually a sign of hope. It really is, because it's telling us, yes, your way is gonna be longer. You're gonna have to go out of your way than the normal route. You're gonna be inconvenienced. You're gonna be frustrated. You, you might even get angry. You might have to slow down and you might have to go somewhere you thought you wouldn't ever have to go. But the detour offers hope because if you have ever traveled without a GPS or your, your GPS dies, or your phone dies or whatever, and, and you don't have directions, you just know the route you always go or you're, you're in a city or a town that you don't even know, a state you don't know, and your map says, oh, just stay on I-55 South until you get to such and such exit. And then the interstate is shut down, the road is closed. The detour guides you to where to go. And what do you do? You get off the, you get off the interstate or you, or you turn down the road and you look for those orange signs and they direct you this way. And then there's another detour sign and then another sign and then another sign. And you start honing in and looking for those detour signs, those arrows that I'm still on the right way. I'm still going the right way. I need to keep going straight here. I need to go this way. And eventually the detour will guide us back to the path that we are su we're supposed to be on. And we will get to our destination. It may take longer than we want. Guys, the detour sign is actually a sign of hope. We right now, as a nation, as a world, as a church, as families, as a community, there is a big road closed sign. Okay, there is. And we don't understand it. And it's scary because, because it's not because, oh, there's just construction on the other side. It's because there's an emergency, one that we can even see, but we know it's bad and has the potential to be really bad. And so if it was just road closed, stay put, stay right where you are. Guys, that's not the God we serve. We serve a God of hope. And there is a detour sign. Look, when Jesus, when Jesus came to earth and he was on the Mount of Transfiguration and all his glory, and it was revealed that this was God's son whom he was well pleased with. Moses, that 
Elijah with him. It was definitely a mountaintop experience. Well, guess what? He couldn't stay on the mountain. He had to travel a road, the Via Dolorosa, a painful road. And his disciples, and they're like, what road closed here, here? Wait, we were just so popular. Jesus was like doing miracles and had all these people just loving and adoring him and waving palm branches at him on Palm Sunday and all this amazing things were happening. And now all of a sudden, road closed. We can't go that way anymore. This is not headed to revolution. This is headed to a Roman cross. That did it seem crazy. It was scary. It caused anxiety. It caused failure in a lot of people. But there was a detour. Because though Jesus died, he died a real death, a real painful death. And he was buried in a borrowed tomb. But guys, that was not the end of the story. Because three days later, he resurrected. Life back in his lungs. He is alive. We, we serve a risen Savior, not the bones of a once great teacher. He is the Savior of the world. So detour while it may be inconvenient for us and aggravating and frustrating and scary because we haven't gone down these neighborhoods before. We're in a place we have never been and we don't know if it's safe. We don't, what, we don't know where we're going. Here's the thing about the detour sign that is hope is that you keep looking for the next detour sign the next arrow, the next one that will keep you on the path. My friends, your detour, guide. Jesus is with us and he is guiding and navigating us. If, if we want to make it to where we are back and we end up at that destination, we have to trust the detour sign place, placer. <laughs> we have to trust that the person who put that detour sign and all those arrows, they knew the way to go. They know how to get us back to the interstate, around the problem, the crisis, the emergency, the whatever shut down the road in the first place. Jesus can be trusted. God can be trusted in this detour. Look, I... I feel your disappointment. Seniors, I feel your disappointment, okay? The frustration, the anxiety of what's going to happen, basically taking our calendars that we wrote in ink and crossing it out or getting a big old bottle of white out. I don't like it, I hate it. But here's what I know. God is so good. And God will work all things for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And that includes this road closure. This includes the detour. Can I ask you to join me in opening your eyes to what's happening in the detour? That we can look and we can say, okay, you know what? This is not a path I would have gone on. I would never have walked this street. I would have never driven these miles. Maybe there is something for us to learn here. I know there is. Maybe it is patient. Maybe it is loving God and loving our neighbor. Maybe it is repenting. Maybe it is doing away with so many things that consumed our time that we found, you know, maybe they're not really all that important. Maybe we realize that the privilege and the blessing of actually getting together together in person when we worship, we won't take that for granted anymore. I, I don't know all the lessons 
and all the things that can come out of this, but you can be good. And I don't know if this detour is gonna last a couple blocks or it's gonna last miles. I don't know. But I do know that we are not alone on this journey. And that just because the road closed sign is up, the detour sign is a sign of hope because it gives us direction and help, helps us continue on to our destination. Students, leaders, parents, please know how much we love you. You leaders here, me, we love you, we're here for you, we want to be able to help you through this time. So please text me or email me or what, whatever, contact me, call me if you need anything. We will get through this together. We are all on the detour. All of us are on the detour. And what's so hopeful, what's so inspiring is that Jesus came and lived and died and resurrected for all of us. The detour is for all of us. I love you and I can't wait until we can get back together. But would you please join me in prayer right now? God, we do not like the road closed sign. It is an inconvenience. It is aggravating. It's frustrating. Maddening even. Lord, it's scary. We just thought we had life going the way we wanted it to go. And we had dates and plans and great events on the calendar, Lord, and just routine things. And then the road closed. But oh, how I thank you for the detour sign. I thank you for your presence. I thank you that you will never leave us, you will never forsake us, and you will continue to show us the way to go. Back to you. Draw us to you to your purposes, from him, in him, for him. Give us faith. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Increase our faith, God, in you. Jesus, mercy. I pray your mercy. Hear the prayers of your people. Thank you for hope. Amen.
that be a prayer for all of us to give me faith. Um, he will. He will meet us. You are not alone. Have have faith. Have encouragement. Have hope. Because, and whenever you see the road close sign and the detour sign from this day forward, I hope that you do remember this this season. It's not gonna last forever. You remember this season. You remember this experience. And you remember the truth that when there seemed to be hopelessness, there seemed to be a dead end road, God provided the detour through Jesus Christ and through his sacrifice and his resurrection. And there is hope. That is our prayer. That is our, um, our wish for all of you. So now we're going to join together in, in our blessing that we do um, each week at Merge um, out of numbers. So if you will um, join us. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Love you, St. Mark's.